The following video was taken from Ace Organic Chem Elite, full of movies, videos, flashcards, a test bank, and much, much more. Plans start at less than $20. Sign up today and get two free ebooks with your subscription. Cancel anytime, money back guarantee if not completely satisfied, and you keep the ebooks. Just click on the link in the video notes. And now, on to our video. In this video, we're going to talk about organolithium compounds. Now, before we do this, organolithium compounds are really, really similar to Grignard reagents. So before we get too far into this, um, a lot of the stuff that we talked about in the Grignard lesson, we're not going to talk about here. So I would encourage you to go look at the Grignard lesson, uh, Grignard reactions, which is the video before this, um, if you have any questions. But but we'll show a couple of things on organolithium. So the first thing is how do you form these things? And you form these things by subjecting an alkyl halide. The easiest way, I should say, is to, to two lithium metal atoms. And what this does is it exchanges the halogen, makes the lithium, the organolithium, and then a byproduct of lithium chloride in this case. This is uh, butyl lithium, sometimes called n-butyl lithium. Uh, the other one of the other really common organometallics you will run into, organolithium specifically, is t-butyl lithium. We'll make it from the bromide this time. Same thing. Two lithium atoms and you make t-butyl lithium with lithium bromide as a byproduct. Now, um, these t-butyl lithium, the, so let me, let me start with the, the easiest part first. These are crazy basic. They are incredibly basic. In some instances, and that instance is when they're not hindered. They are also nucleophiles. So there are instances when n-butyl lithium can be a nucleophile. Methyl lithium is definitely a nucleophile. Uh, another one is benzyl lithium or phenyl lithium. Make that the same way as you do the others. Pretty nucleophilic, it's not hindered. T-butyl lithium is not, though. It's it's just really a base. It's, it's a hard one to, to do additions with. So let's look at a couple of reactions where we use lithiums. And again, uh, as we did with the Grignard reactions, we're just going to stick with um, methyl lithium just to, to show what we're doing here. Um, I'm not going to show as many as I did last time. Because again, these are really similar to the Grignard reaction. What I'm going to show you, though, is places where you would use this. The Grignards don't work. So again, you can methyl lithium. Carbonyl is electrophilic. The methyl group on the lithium is highly nucleophilic. You're going to do your addition. Actually, let me do this. So you can see where we added. Right, and I'm going to show it in the crazy way here where we just have it coming down. There you go. Okay, so again, we make tertiary alcohols from ketones. And this makes sense. Now, I'm going to dive right into unsaturations. Now if we have an alpha beta unsaturated ketone and we react it with methyl lithium, you wonder where that's going to go. What's going to happen? Is it going to add direct 1,2 to the carbonyl or Michael addition 1,4 to the unsaturation? And because this is super basic, just like the Grignard reagent, it's going to add direct or 1, 2.
And let me just rearrange this really quickly so you can see it. There we are. Direct addition. So I'll even one, two, direct addition. Okay, so this is so far what you've seen is where this thing is similar. Where it's not similar, and where you can do something with this that you can't do with Grignard's, is in coupling reactions. So these lithiums will actually react with alkyl halides. And they, they can do addition reactions. So you can do a substitution on this. And it's going to attack at our electrophilic site and kick off chlorine. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn uh, one chloropropane into butane. And there's the methyl group we added. Okay, now of course, because this is really super basic, substitution is going to compete with elimination. And you could also get the elimination product. So, so two things can happen there, and it depends on your conditions and you know how you maximize one over the other. But remember, this is super basic. So alkyl lithiums can be used as bases in all sorts of things. Where uh, Grignards, you wouldn't you wouldn't waste a Grignard. It would be a a waste of a Grignard. And one last reaction. Um, that again we showed in the previous video, but on um, Grenier's. But I, I just want to show one more time um, because it is kind of cool. If you take this amide, which is called the Weinreb amide, and you subject it to methyl lithium or any organolithium, this is going to add and kick off that amide. And what you're going to get out is pretty cool. Again, you get the ketone out. There's our methyl group, and there's the R group. So hopefully what, I, what I've shown here in this kind of quick video is that organolithiums are very, very similar to Grignard reagents. They accept they can react with alkyl halides and they're way more basic. So you can do more things with them just as a plain old base rather than as a nucleophile. Uh, I would highly encourage you to go back and look at the Grignard reactions video that we did just before this. I think that'll really clear some things up for you that we, we went kind of fast over in this video.